In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse around a gradual corner, which will be this one here. And then I'm going to show you how to reverse around a sharper corner, which will be this one right here. As you'll see, all corners are unique and you need to treat each corner individually based on the angle that you have to work with. Now, the only thing I love more than making these videos for you is money. I love money, or as we say in Irish, is even lum arrogant. So with that in mind, if you feel that these videos are worthy of support, you can make a donation by PayPal, links in the description and first pin comment. But I've recently joined the Revolut bandwagon as well. So if you want to support me via that means, that will be great. You can share a Revolut link to my email here, daintai at gmail.com, or use the links I provide in the description and first pinned comment. Any support is much appreciated and thank you in advance. Okay, so let's get on with this video on reversing around the corner and we're going to start with the gradual corner. So here goes. So first of all, I'm going to start here with a more gradual corner. The corner, the curb here is is, is kind of more gradual. It's, 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 not a, it's not by any means a sharp angle like that. So because it's more gradual, my steering then needs to be more gradual too, as you're about to see now. So I'll go into reverse gear first of all. Checking all around there. All looks good. Now, let the handbrake down then, and back I go. Keeping the wheel straight at the start, okay? And keeping her going nice and slow, and I'm looking behind as well. So you'll notice now the wheel, um, it's kept fairly straight. Because this, this is the first part, I mean the curb is pretty straight beside me, maybe it goes in a little bit, so I might just give a tiny bit of adjustment, but if the curb is fairly straight, well then the wheel stays fairly straight. The wheel matches the curb, this is what I'm trying to say in this video, like, the wheel matches the curb. So, just as the corner is about to disappear there, I give it a little gentle turn like that. As I said, it's a gradual corner, so notice my steering now, it's quite gradual to suit the corner, okay? If I were to steer really fast now, I would be worried that my back wheels would go too close to the curb, maybe hit it. But because it's a gradual corner, notice how I'm giving little subtle gentle movements of the wheel there. That's because it's this particular type of corner. Now, I can just straighten up now because I notice that I'm just, I don't want to get too close to it either. So, but notice that little straightening up was, was barely like a half turn, okay? And that was enough. Now I'm gonna, you notice that I'm just a little bit of a gap, so I'm gonna do a small turn. But look, look how I just turned in a small amount now look at the t look what I'm doing. I'm giving it time to react. Look at the wheel. I'm giving it time to react. Okay. Now I notice my door handle is getting closer. So I think I'll just get the wheel straight. Maybe slightly off straight for a second. And now straight. And now I feel that it's a good distance there. But all this was done like with very very gentle steering. There was no dramatics there. There was no lock of the wheel left or right. It was all done in a very very gentle manner. So if it's a gentle corner like this. Um, a very gradual corner. Well, then the steering needs to match that. Your steering reflects the corner. So if the curb beside me is fairly straight, well, then my wheel will stay fairly straight like it is now. If it's a gentle curve, well, then I steer gently. That's the way it goes, okay? And I'll just bring it to a stop there then. So make a note now of my steering and how the car reacts to my steering on this corner, which is going to be a slightly sharper corner than the first one. Uh, this one so it's gonna be a little bit sharper. That means I'm gonna to have to turn a little bit faster on this corner here Okay, so into reverse gear Checking all around looks all good Now I see a van coming in there. So I'm just gonna give way to him uh, So the van is just overtaking me there now a white van now So I'll give a good full look around again then make sure everything's okay into reverse and back I go then. So I'm mainly looking behind but I'm also keeping an eye on the side mirror as well of course. All the mirrors actually. Now you'll notice now that I can still see the curb in my side mirror there. Still see it. Now I've noticed now it's kind of starting to disappear and now that it's disappeared I'm going to turn then. Now notice the way I'm turning. I won't say I'm turning fast but I'm turning reasonably I would say, what would you say, medium speed, like this. I'm coming around nice and slowly. Now, when I see that the curb is reappearing, just like it is there now, this is when I do this now, which is I straighten up like this, okay? Because if I don't straighten up, that means I will go into the curb. Now, I've deliberately finished a little bit far away from the curb 
so I can show you now the magic of the quarter stairs, okay? So I'm gonna do that, which is a quarter left. I'm gonna give it time to react, okay? Let it react. Now let the tarmac disappear. The tarmac has to disappear first under the car, or, or at least almost disappear. Then you do the corresponding other quarter like that and give it a chance then just to make a slight little reappearance, which it will there very soon. Nice and slow. You can just see the top of the curb there now. And I always then finish with a nice straight wheel at the end. I'm just gonna reverse back past that driveway there. So I don't block any drives. I'm making sure now that my wheel is nice and straight at the end. And then I bring her to a nice gentle stop just there. And it's handbrake first and then neutral. And then wait for further instructions from the tester. So that was a slightly sharper corner just there. Remember to look at the corner before you actually start it. This will give you a chance to watch out for any hazards or potential hazards like children playing or cars reversing out of driveways or something like that. But it'll also give you a chance to analyze the angle that you have to deal with. So if it's a gradual corner, steer gently. If it's a sharper corner, you may want to steer a little bit quicker. It depends on the corner, of course, they're all different. So if you have any other bits of advice or information, that you learned over the years from a tester or an instructor, why not let us know in the comments section? That'll be interesting to read. And I'll be back very soon with another video. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon. Slán tamo. As you'll see, all corners are unique and you need to you need to have a look at the corner that you're about to reverse around so you can check out the angle and look out for any other Why not let me know in the comments section? analyze it first so you can check out what kind of angle always remember have a look at the corner before you start the start have a look at the corner before you start you're some retard as would learners from all over the country. Oh my God, that's... <sighs> You'd also be watching out for any children playing. What is wrong with me today? Like...